Today we're going to be examining Google Docs and the way that students are able to communicate within this tool. You've probably heard of Google Docs uh, or used it before. This screencast is intended to give you an overview of using Google Docs when working on a collaborative assignment or when students are working within a collaborative assignment. It's really interesting to be able to see and understand that this type of tool allows students the power to communicate directly and efficiently. And we're going to examine a few features that allow students to do this. When creating a new doc, one of the first things that students are going to do is, first of all, give it a title because they cannot share it without doing that. But when they do and they're ready to begin collaborating and there's a show within there, they can choose to uh, email here. So you can see that I can add more people into my account and share. But I can also see that this document at this point, because it's already uh, had people within it, collaborating is already shared. And you can also go into that, click on them and be able to see what their options are, what they're able to do, whether they're the owner, they're able to edit, comment, view, and then also who's in here. So just giving you that idea of how simple that may be and send it off. All right, now one of the things that we do see and why we think that this tool is such a powerful tool when communicating is really when we're sharing with group members, um, it allows the shared collaborators to communicate the completion of a task, to peer edit, to comment in real time, and review the revision history. So let's see a little bit. I can see that I have somebody in here. I can also see that Wherever I am, I'm not lit up. However, if I have somebody within my document, it'll have uh, a different color for each person and I can hover over it and see who that is. So if I'm working within here and I have multiple people in, I'm gonna be able to see who's talking and communicating and building thoughts with me just by hovering over and seeing who it is that is writing in that time. If there are any questions, collaborators can leave comments that communicate specific details. So one way they can do that is if they just want to chat, they can go within here and it doesn't have to go within the document. But another way to do that is also highlighting directly within the document itself. So um, collaborators can come in, highlight, choose to make a comment, and within that comment, they can then decide to leave a question, a comment, make an editing suggestion. And when you come along, you can also see exactly which one is highlighted. So you can see when I click on it, it highlights the one that it's speaking to. So you know what it may be and what they may be asking. And it directs you exactly to the spot that's needed. One of the things is that working in real time offers creativity and immediacy not found in isolation sometimes when you're working and sending projects back and forth. So if we're working here and communicating at the same time, as the document grows, it draws the collaborators into the process. So the real time nature offers a level of commitment to the task task and it's less likely that if we're sitting here writing together in real time and we're editing and we're talking and we're chatting, it's less likely that the students themselves are going to be distracted and move elsewhere because they're in with a group and being able to work uh, in real time and seeing what others are doing. So they're less likely to take off when their partners are in there working with them and asking them questions. The next thing is being able to go in and see that it does have the ability to have a uh, revision history within it. Oh, let me go. There we go. So we go to file and see revision history. Now I can see who's revised it, when they've come in and their colors themselves and what they've done within here. So you can see that I can begin to go down and see who's changed what. and kind of get an idea of their thinking as well. And if it's a teacher coming in, then they can also go in and see who's actually taken part within the discussions, who's contributed, what that looks like. So it just gives you an idea of the ability to 
communicate and not only in real time, but then being able to look back and see what others are doing, what they're thinking, coming in on your own terms. When sometimes you're busy, you can't get together with your group. This offers another side to be able to communicate uh, at any place at any time and to build upon the work that we are doing together as a group and building upon our skills to become efficient collaborators. So that's our session on Google Docs.